Local businesses and organizations partnered together to raise hundreds of thousands of dollars recently, all for a great cause. Amy Polpe Boone tells us more. We are so privileged to have Honda uh, put this on and the proceeds donate to Torrance Memorial Medical Center. And these will go towards the construction of our new patient tower. The seven-story Lundquist Tower is slated to open in November. It's slated to allow for more space for its outpatient departments and to provide a home base for its cancer division. And for the last seven years, proceeds from the annual event have gone towards funding the new wing. We started planning this about seven years ago. It was a $490 million budget. We think we'll end up coming in at about $480 million, so under budget by $10 million. American Honda partnered with the Torrance Area Chamber of Commerce and chose Torrance Memorial as its beneficiary for the ninth consecutive year. Craig Leach, the CEO and president of Torrance Memorial, has been with the project since the very beginning. We originally thought that we might get 50 to 75 million dollars from the community in cash and pledges. We felt that that would be uh, an honor to, to receive that kind of a, of a level of donation and we are currently at $120 million. Leach and his team were impressed with the graciousness of the community as a stream of gifts continue to multiply. Probably about 750 or 800 people here tonight. Uh, we uh, have, uh, besides the, we have sponsors here. We also have a silent auction going at the same time. And so we don't know what the results will be, but hopefully it's around two hundred or two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Actress Tia Carrere and performers like Daniel Ho and acclaimed Hawaiian dancers came to support the event. You know, it's great to come out for a wonderful cause and enjoy a wonderful night out. It's been uh, incredible with the food and the wine and an amazing show. Not just because I'm part of it, but it's been a really fun night here. Guests enjoyed food from over 20 different restaurants, about 80 variety of wines, and a silent auction. We view Honda as a really great neighbor in the community, and I think we're really, really lucky in this community to have large corporate citizens who give back to the community and uh, care as much about the community as Honda does. This event is just a small example of a city and its community members coming together to support a growing need for its residents. Reporting for City Cable, I'm Amy Polby Boone. Thanks, Amy. With the end of the summer comes the start of a new school year, and a group of local high schoolers did more than just relax. They got a chance to earn a little extra cash and experience life in the working world. Here's Crystal Garcia with more. It's a bittersweet time for 25 students from local high schools. Let's give them a hand. ExxonMobil employees, city officials, and staff from Torrance Unified School District gathered at the Toyota Meeting Hall to recognize the ExxonMobil Youth Development Program Class of 2014. Uh, students, over the course of the summer, you have demonstrated a strong commitment to become better individuals by gaining this valuable work experience. The luncheon allowed the students to reflect on the four-week period where they worked a full-time job, working directly with business professionals throughout the city. Think about the people you came in contact with. I'm talking about the adults, the workers. And then try to think about why are these people successful in what they do. Besides maintaining a full-time job during the program, students also completed a STEM project with ExxonMobil employees volunteering as mentors. It was just a lot of fun to really be a part of that. And uh, Exxon, they really encourage us to, to give back to the community and to, to do these things for STEM. The students were split into groups, and each group had to create a component of a machine that came together to complete a larger task. Behind me is what's left of a chain reaction machine, a project that the students worked on all summer. And today, they unveiled it in front of their mentors and all of the city officials. I believe that I can speak for all of this summer's youth development program participants when I say that all of our mentors provided us with invaluable knowledge. And while the program is over, the experience is something all youth development program alumni will carry forever. For Torrance City Cable, I'm Crystal Garcia. Thanks, Crystal. Over the last three years, the Youth Development Program has added more STEM components to enhance the already intense five-week course, teaching them not only math, science, and life skills, but the importance of teamwork. 
Recent news broke that the Torrance Roseville Association's entry into the New Year's Day parade may be at risk if new sponsorship is not found. Here's Amy Popey Boone to tell us more on their efforts of saving this Torrance tradition. Zamperini was invited to be the Grand Marshal for the 2015 Tournament of Roses Parade. So when the Torrance Rose Float Association was looking for inspiration, the answer was an easy one. This year when they said that the, um, the theme of the uh, parade was inspiring stories, I mean, we all just kind of said, Lou Zamperini. I mean, what better depicts Torrance than inspiring than Lou Zamperini? But soon after, when a major sponsor dropped the contract, it placed it all in jeopardy. I just can't imagine not having it. It would be a real, real disappointment to everybody not to be able to um, honor uh, Lou Zamperini. At least $15,000 have already been paid in non-refundable deposits. So when a major corporate sponsor withdrew their funds, it gave organizers until September 15th to find $150,000 in order to complete this float. Working with this small group of eight, organizers are now putting in extra hours and manpower towards crowdfunding and talking to family and friends. On my Facebook page, um, I have lots of uh, fellow Tartars that I reached out to, probably about 2,000. I've sent out over 600 emails asking anybody who e I've ever done a favor for. Torrance is one of the few cities in the past 100 years that have rarely missed a Tournament of Roses parade. But if the deadline is not met... There really aren't any other options as far as, I mean, we're either going to have this float or we're not. Facing opposition is something Zamperini mastered throughout his life. He would be proud of the stamina and resilience this team demonstrates. Their actions speak volumes about how they feel about their local hero. He would, uh, I, th I think he's looking down on us and saying, you know, we're going to get it done. We've moved on to um, going public, so to speak, so that we're asking for everyone's help. And if everyone can help out, then we can get it done. Reporting for City Cable, I'm Amy Polpeboom. Thanks, Amy. To make a donation, you can go online to their website at torrentrosefloat.com.